بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب زدنی علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین ٹرانسفارمیشن آف فنکشنز دی ٹاپک آف دس لیکچر از ریفلیکشنز فار دس لیکچر آئی ایم یوزنگ دی ورک آف ون آف مائی بیسٹ اسٹوڈنٹ مس سیدہ فدا کیسر آف کلاس ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی دی لائسیم An important advice for me and for everyone, we should be kind to others. Well, as you have done this in O-levels, when we reflect anything about the x-axis, we change the sign of y-coordinates. That is, the y-coordinates are negative of each other. This graph is the reflection of this graph about the x-axis. This point is here after the reflection and this point has coordinates 0, comma, positive 2 and after the reflection this co point has coordinates 0, comma, negative 2. The signs of y coordinates are opposite. And the second most important thing is the nature of the turning point will also be changed. This point is minimum and after the reflection this point has become maximum. So two things will be changed when we reflect anything about the x-axis. Number one, the signs of the y-coordinates. And number two, the nature of the turning point. This point is unchanged after the reflection. So this point is known as the invariant point. Any point which will remain unchanged after the transformation, then that point is known as the invariant point. Invariant point always lie on the line of reflection. Well, when we reflect anything about the y-axis, then we change the sign of x-coordinates. And the nature of the uh, turning point will remain unchanged. This graph is the reflection of this graph about the y-axis. This is the minimum point with coordinates 2 comma 0 and after the reflection this point is here on the opposite side of y-axis with coordinates minus 2 comma 0. We always get mirror image in the reflection. This is the mirror image of this curve about the y-axis and this is the invariant point. Key. This Red Y means the image and this black Y means the object and this is Y is equal to F of X because Y is always equal to F of X. Number one, reflections on the X axis. The graph of Y is equal to minus F of X or Y is equal to minus Y, they both means the same thing, is a reflection of the graph of Y is equal to F of X in the X axis. Let us understand this concept through this example. Consider the following two functions, these two functions. We obtain this second function by applying this onto first function. This is the equation of the resulting graph when this graph is reflected about the x-axis. The diagram shows the graph of these two functions this point we have got the mirror image this curve is reflected about the x-axis this point has coordinates 0 comma 2 and after the reflection this point is here with coordinates 0 minus 2 the signs of the y coordinates have been changed from positive to negative this point is minimum and after the reflection this point has become maximum and this is the invariant point the x-coordinates of the two graphs are the same, whereas the y-coordinates are negative of each other. Number 2. Reflections on the y-axis. The graph of y is equal to f of minus x is a reflection of the graph y is equal to f of x in the y-axis. Let us understand this concept through this example. Consider these two functions. We obtain the second function by
by replacing x by minus x in the first function. The diagram shows the graph of these two functions. This is the mirror image of this graph about the y-axis. This point is minimum with coordinates 1 comma 0 and after the reflection this point has become minus 1 0. The signs of the y co x coordinates have been changed. This is the invariant point because it lies on the line of reflection. And this is the equation of the resulting graph. Example number one. The quadratic graph y is equal to f of x has a minimum at the point 5 comma minus 7. Find the coordinates of the vertex means turning point and state whether it is a minimum or maximum of the following graphs. Number A. Y is equal to minus f of x. Answer. Y is equal to minus f of x is a reflection of y is equal to f of x in the x-axis. Therefore, we need to change the sign of the y-coordinate. So, the turning point will become 5 comma 7 and the nature of the turning point will also be changed. It will become maximum. Because I told you when we reflect anything about the x-axis, we change the sign of y-coordinates and then the nature of the turning point will also be changed. B. Y is equal to f of minus x. As y is equal to f of minus x is a reflection of y is equal to f of x in the y-axis, therefore we need to change the sign of x-coordinate and the nature of the turning point will remain unchanged. So this point will become minus 5 minus 7 and the nature will remain the same minimum point. This was example number 1. Example number 2. Find the equation of each graph after the given transformation. y is equal to 2x power 4 after the reflection in the y-axis. You know, by replacing x by minus x, we can get this equation. Because when we reflect anything about the y-axis, we change the sign of x-coordinate. So by replacing x by minus x into this equation, we'll get this equation. And the simplified form of this equation will be y is equal to 2x power 4. Therefore, this is the equation of the resulting graph. Number 2. After the reflection in the x-axis. When we reflect anything about the x-axis, we use this equation y is equal to minus y. We multiply this by negative sign. So, this is the reflection in x-axis. Therefore, the equation of the resulting graph will be this. Example number 3. Describe the transformation that maps the graph this onto this. Now you need to observe both the graphs carefully. If you will observe these two, I mean if you will observe the coefficients of x then you will see the signs of the x coordinates have been changed. Therefore this is the reflection of this graph about the y-axis. And this is the another way to check this reflection. By replacing x by minus x, we get this equation. By replacing this into this equation, we get this equation. Therefore, it is a reflection in y-axis. So this is the method 2 and this is the method 1. In method 1, you just need to observe directly both the equations and then describe the answer. So. 
this is the equation resulting equation of this equation about the x-axis y-axis this is the reflection of this in the y-axis number two this is so simple if you will observe these two carefully these two are i mean these two have opposite signs since this has been applied onto this equation therefore this is the reflection in the x-axis you just need to observe the equations carefully i hope this lecture will help you all and this is all and i will discuss uh, these stretches in my next lecture inshallah and important advice for me and for everyone speak good or remain silent allah hafiz